to the forest at now is fall season na dito sa Korea and it's time to chestnut pickling. Ito po yung pinaka-exciting na ginagawa ko during fall season kasi kapag relax ako nakakapunta ng bundo or forest, minsan pag may time, ang mga anak ko sinasama ko para mamulot ng chestnut for free. This is a great way and perfect way to enjoy nature at the same time. Enjoy the fruits or pupunta ka ng SM per gram yung chestnut. I hope meron din tayo dito sa Pinas para hindi mahal. Kasi nakakabili lang kami nito dati sa kung hindi ako nagkakamali sa kaya po yung roasted na chestnut, castanyas, tsaka special lang day to. Usually, pag Pasko lang ka na nakakatikim nito, at tsaka syempre medyo mahal, medyo expensive. Pagdating ko dito sa Korea, narealize ko na pinupulot lang pala ito, at tsaka mura lang dito compare sa Pilipinas sa, sa ibang place. Kasi marami dito kahit na nandyan ka lang sa wild Iba-iba yung style nila kasi sa wild or yung walang nag-aalaga. Merong iba-iba din klaseng puno. So, yung wild may maliit lang siya. But, pareho lang din ng lasa. I-enjoy ko rin yung surrounding. Siguro, ako yung tipo ng tao na buhay ako sa forest. Join me in going to rest in Deja Do. I mean, uh, lagi kong pinupunta. Actually, sa likuran ng bahay namin, meron ding forest or bundok na pwedeng akyatan pero wala kasi gong kasama. Maganda kasi doon kasi may makikita kang spring kaya doon ako palaging namumulot ng chestnut. By the way guys, hindi lang chestnut yung kukunin ko doon pati corn nuts kasi gagawa ako ng acorn jelly. So dalawa yung kunin ko or pupulutin ko. So join me. I hope you like this. So guys, this is the example of chestnut tree which has green fruit and still not yet ripe if the fruit ripe it just fall down and the color of it will become brown so here i am guys kasama kong aking friend na si sarah malapit kasi ito sa kanilang gs25 na market first time na nakapunta siya dito kaya namang ha siya na hindi niya alam na meron palang ganitong place dito This is one of the highlight and what I like in this place, this area na may parang spring sa gilid. Masineryoso naman bundok nyo. Pwede dumaan dito, pwede dumaan dito. Ayan, 20 minutes na lang tayo. The weather is sunny, but it's a little bit colder than before. Fall na fall na talaga ang weather. So this is the right time really to climb up the forest or yung mga ganitong hiking. Maliliit siya, pero mukhang bagong hulog. As we enter the forest, we are starting to pick up some chestnut on the road. Ayan, ganyan ang itsura niya, guys. I wasn't able to bring gloves that time, but I need to have it. Kasi thorny yung, yung pinaka-shell ng chestnut. I have actually clippers. Pag naka-close pa yung, ano niya, yung shells niya, ginagamit ko yun.
pinaka-favorite spot ko dito sa lugar na ito eh. Ayan, yung spring na makikita mo. I don't know, eh, lawa ba to? Pero kasi malinis siya eh. Nakapag-walking ka na, nakapag-exercise ka pa. Tapos, nakapulot ka pa ng chestnut, hindi ka na kailangan bumili, ba? Diba? Although, mura lang naman dito ang chestnut. So, it's like an experience na rin. At syempre, kasama na rin ang pagbivilag. Maybe some people will not appreciate what I'm doing, pero... It's like nature tripping as well. Tapos napakalinis kasi nitong lugar na ito. Yung meron ding mga basura pero talagang nililinis nila. Tapos pinag-iingatan din nila sa mga forest fire. Kasi mahirap pag nagka-forest fire dito lalot yung mga, mga tower ng kuryente and internet connection nandito na, nakalagay dyan. At saka madaming maapektuhan so pinoprotektahan talaga nila. By the way guys, even if you're on the top of the mountain or kahit nandito sa mga forest na ganito, napakalakas ng kanilang internet connection at meron talagang signal. <laughs> ko medyo camera shy. Actually, last year, mas marami kong nakuha dito at ilang beses kaming bumalik with my kids. Pero itong taon na to, parang ang konti ng mga bunga. On this area, there's a lot of acornuts and it's really look fresh. On the side of this, there is a tomb or living and pinabayaan ko na hindi ko na vinilag kasi nananahimik. Baka mamaya makakita pa akong multo. <laughs> In case you didn't know guys, yung libingan dito, nasa taas ng bundok. I have some few videos. Ayan, pinicturean ko na lang guys. Minsan kahit sa tabi lang ng bahay nila, tapos gagawin lang nalang parang burol. I will put the description box below yung videos ko na may cemetery at yung place na malapit sa amin na merong libingan din. This is my generous and very good friend, Sarah.
We find few chestnut today. I have a Korean friend. Sabi niya, pag gusto ko raw kumuha ng chestnut, umaga daw dapat ako talagang umalis. Kasi mauunahan ako ng mga Korean na matatanda. Wala pang alas 8 or alas 7, nagbubundok na yan sila. o yung chestnut. Ayan. Diba? Libre yan yan. Napulot. Tapos, dito. Tapos, ito sa pregan natin yung kinuha. Mm. So, pakikita mo yung difference. Almost the same yung color. But this one is different because yung color niya yan. Tapos yung shape niya pa ganyan. Ito. Malalaki yung nakuha namin dun sa playground. playground. So, I segregate acorn nuts and chestnut i will cook the chestnut immediately and the acorn i will soak it in water so i separate natin siya kasi hindi ko nai separate ng kukuha doon sa bundok ano lang diretso na pasok sa plastic agad Tapos, ililutuin na natin siya kagad. Oh, my hat is on. Na to, yan. Ganyan yung usually acorn hat. So, iba-iba yung shape niya. May malaki, tapos may meron maliit. taba, tapos meron yung maliit, tapos ito bilog. After segregating the acorn nut and chestnut, I wash it. Isa pang safest place na walang corona, I guess, is the forest. But we need to clean this properly because it came from the ground. Immediately, I boil the chestnut after washing. Actually, I didn't rose it, but you can rose it as well. Ina and my kids' favorite snacks. So guys, what can you say about my nature tripping and acorn and chestnut picking? Please leave a comment, like, and consider subscribing. Anyo higa sa God bless everyone.